Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here on a bright and sunny day here at the Hillbilly Homestead. And I've just been reminded of a class that I've been wanting to work on dealing with the solstices and when exactly they are. Now, in the book of Enoch, first Enoch, we find out how the sacred calendar works. We're told that the calendar ends or begins around the time of the spring equinox, that being the tropical year. Of course, the sacred year would start with the first new moon after the spring equinox. But we'll save that for another class. In this one, we're talking particularly about the gates of Enoch. And what he tells us is that after the spring equinox, we are allocated 91 days for each season. Let me show you what I mean. When you pop over to Google and you ask when is the spring equinox, it tells you that it's on March the 20th. So if you come to a date calculator and put that information in, you'll see that the tropical seasons are supposed to start on June the 19th for the summer, September the 18th for the fall and December the 18th for the winter. But when you go in and you look for the winter solstice on Google, it tells you that it's on December the 21st. So was Enoch telling us about the winter solstice or is man's date off a little bit? I actually believe it's the latter. So I'm actually trying to do an experiment where I'm looking at the shadow cast by the sun in order to determine exactly when the winter solstice is myself. And in fact, I'm actually asking you guys to help too, because here at the Hillbilly Homestead, we have been having a lot of cloudy days, which could actually prevent this experiment from taking place. But we'll come back to that. First, I want to talk more about that March 20th date, because not too long ago in the spring, I made an observation with my sundial that the equinox actually fell on March the 18th. You can check out some of those videos to see how that experiment worked. We even went into the calculation to prove that the spring equinox should have been closer to March the 18th and not March the 20th. So are these computer programs not telling us the truth? Well, they have a saying in engineering school, garbage in, garbage out. So if they haven't recalibrated their computer programs in order to adjust for the Earth's precession, their dates would actually be wrong. Thing about it, if they were to recalibrate their computers, not only would they have to show us different dates on those computer programs, but they would actually have to go in and change all of the calendars. The thing about it, the last time they tried to update the calendar, it caused riots all around the world, so their hesitation to update their calendar may be justified, but that's their business. We're worried about the sacred calendar, and there's no need for it to be updated because of the way it works. Simply by determining the 364th day of the year, the seasons fall on time every year and never get off track. So the question is, was Enoch pointing us to the solstices when he was telling us about those 91 day seasons? Well, if he was, that means that the December solstice, the winter solstice could fall as early as December the 17th. Because if the last day of the year was March the 18th and you add 273 days to that, you end up on December the 17th. And because we've been having a lot of cloudy days here at the Hillbilly Homestead, I'm asking you guys to help make observations of the solstice simply by using your sundial or a telephone pole or anything that will cast a shadow at high noon and measuring the length of that shadow exactly at high noon and see when it is that it reaches its longest point. Will it be December the 18th? Or will it be on December the 21st? So all you have to do to help out is look up solar noon for your area. Exactly that time, I will put a mark on the ground or a rock or something or a mark on the sundial 
marking the length of the shadow for that particular day. And we'll do that for the next few days until at least December the 21st or whenever the shadow starts to get shorter again. And that's how we will determine when the solstice is. And if you decide to do this experiment, please report back on what you found. This is very important to relearning how the sacred calendar works, because if the solstices fall on that 91st day of the tropical season, then that's all we have to do in order to keep our calendars aligned is to make sure that our seasons start after the solstices and the equinoxes. So even if we wasn't able to determine when the equinox was in the spring, like most of us wasn't, then all we have to know is when the winter solstice is, then we can determine when the first day of the 10th month will be upon the verification of the new moon. So find out when the next high noon is in your area. If you need help, let me know. I can actually tell you when it is. All you have to do is give me a zip code. Find a permanent shadow casting device like a telephone pole or anything that doesn't move. Trees are not good. And a way to make a mark that you can keep up with every day. And let's figure out when this solstice is. It's time to take back our sacred calendar. And check back with us a little bit later and we'll tell you the results in another video. But either way, it's time to mark our sundials. Now, I will be marking mine for December the 17th, whether we're at the solstice or not, because Enoch said that the seasons are to occur every 91 days. And if March the 18th is the 364th day of the year, the last day of the year, that makes March the 19th the first day of the year. And 273 days after that is December the 17th. So on that day, Father willing, I will go out to the sundial and make incremental markings throughout the day so that at the end of the day, I can create the line to begin the winter season. We have videos on how to make this sundial. If you haven't done so already, you probably have everything you need to make it. Minus a bolt and a can of spray paint or two. But even if you don't, you can use the shadow cast by a telephone pole or something to mark the winter gate on December the 17th. In the meantime, check out some of these other videos we did on the equinoxes and the sacred calendar.